What's going on guys, MV Astro here, back at it with another video and today I'm here with a new guest that we have here. This is Handy Cog. Yes, that is his pilot name, Handy Cog. By the way, we got rid of the black guy. Just kidding, fellas. We don't do any discrimination here, but let's go ahead and jump into MV Astro back at home to give you guys a little bit of the specs on these motors. So let's do it. Okay, so here we got the new 2407Rs by EFAFPV.com. These are the 2800 kV edition, and I believe there is like 24s, 26s, and 2800s. I'll put some information up on the screen for you guys so um, you guys can look at. But uh, let's go ahead and open them up. So one thing I noticed right away from opening the motor is the motor wire length. This looks to be about 100 millimeters long, which I really like because I'm a 4-in-1 ESC person. And I know one thing that a lot of motors didn't used to do is they used to cut their motors real short. But ever since 4-in-1 started to kind of move into FPV, they started to do this. And I'm really liking this because I wouldn't have to extend my motors from the wire. Another thing is that these motors seem to have the hollow shaft. So these motors have hollow shaft. As, as I can see and one thing I really really like from this motor is that they have a screw not only that but they cut off the base of the motor which in my opinion this is what a lot of motor companies should start doing uh, just take off the base something that we don't really need but be sure whenever they you take off the base to don't weaken the base up and have an issue like other motors did in the past where the base kind of rips off from the motor but with that one thing I could also see is the windings and the uh, the quality of this motor. I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera, but the details with the windings and just how everything is soldered and screw and everything, it looks very nice. They did a really good job on the quality control, at least from what I'm seeing from this motor. Not to mention the beautiful red color. That's one of my favorite colors when it comes to quads. The red and black just looks really nice. And of course, the EFA, the little logo with the little triangles. For those people that do not know, it stands for Earth, Fire, Air, and Water. So, very nice name for a motor and really sick. And here, this is a 2407 size motor for those people that do not know. And um, here's a comparison with the um, F40s, which are 2306. So, the F the new EFALs are a little bit bigger, but they look very similar. As you can tell, I don't know if you guys can tell there, but the EFALs are, are slightly bigger in diameter. And, of course, one thing is that the F40s don't have a screw and these do, which makes a huge difference when you're trying to uh, do maintenance on your motors. So the F40s weigh 33, 33, 34 grams. And these, I forgot my scale at a friend's house, but I do have screenshots. So I'll go ahead and pop these up on the screen for you guys. As you can see with the nut and the screws, it weighs in at 37.5 grams. And without the screws, it weighs 34.8, which in my opinion is very, very nice weight for this size motor because the F80s, which are 2408, slightly bigger than this, weigh about 40 to 42 grams. So in my opinion, they did a very good job executing such a big motor with such light weight. This is almost close to the F40s, which are weighing in like at 33, 34. With that, let's go ahead and go back with Set and I and see what our testings turned out to be. Welcome back everyone. So hope you guys got a little understanding about what kind of motor we're uh, working with. It's a 2407 from EFAL, FPV.com. EFAL. And uh, the quad that we're flying it on is the Fastback by Needle Frame. So go check them out. Show them some love on their website. I'll link their website down in the description below. But beware, this is a prototype frame, so you might not find, their, find it on the website. So keep that in mind. This was given to Mr. Handycock right here. So he decided to do the EFA new mo the new EFA motors with a race flight stack, so the the bow and the revo, mm -hmm. with the uh, mini swift and about twenty um, caps. <laughs> about twenty caps, yes. Because we are going to be running this bad boy on six as on another video though, because because race flight is sending me uh, some race flight boards and all of that for me to test, and I'm going to be testing them out on six as. So that's going to be on a separate video. So stay tuned for that video. So like we always do, we decided to do three different kind of tests. Well, actually two because one of them we can't really tell you any feedback about, which is the fish, the durability, because we haven't really spent too much time with the motors. But we did two tests. So we did our our one and only drag race that we always do there and back. We I ran the motors five times, and then uh, Mr. Handy called did them five times. We went there and back. We set the marks to be 250 feet apart. And uh, we got the times on that. I'll go ahead and display the times on the screen for you guys. 
and uh, I was pretty impressed with the motor. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, these are the 2800 kV. I was expecting a little bit more because since they are such a high kV, I really wouldn't recommend them for racing, honestly, because I don't think a lot of people are gonna get that top in from the 2800. But to compare them with other high kV motors, such as like the F40 Pros or the 20, the 2306s from Emacs, um, the numbers are a little bit higher than what we did have because with my F40s, I was getting like about 3.8s, 3.5s. I averaged like a time of 3.80 compared to what we did with the EFALs. Same thing goes for the Emacs's. We averaged out a lower number with the Emacs's and the F40s compared to the EFALs. But overall, this motor was kind of, it, it was it was pretty impressive. I mean, for the this company to just kind of jump out into the FPV uh, dr uh, racing yeah. with motors, I think they did a pretty it good is job. Their first motor. They did hit the nail on the head. I mean, they hit most of the products that the FPV pilots are looking for with exactly. the naked That's bottoms. one thing I love. Uh, they stepped it up and actually went for a target size not many other companies have with the 2407. I think uh, T-Motor is the only one that has the F80s, which are a 2408. Um, and, and so that's kind of really the only thing on the market to compare them to other than the other Emaxes. Uh, but I mean, it's kind of the same thing with the Emaxes. Those aren't really a racing motor, as they no, they're, they're they're not. They're more of a it's a, it's a top speed top it's speed a, kind of motor like for that heads up racing drag, exactly drag race kind. But of I motor. think it'll be cool to compare this motor with maybe like the F80s or something. Yeah. Comment down below what you guys would like to see this uh, motor go against. Maybe the F80s, F40s, Emax. Who knows? You guys comment down, and then whoever has the majority vote, we'll go ahead and uh, compare them. But one thing I didn't realize with this motor, I don't know if it's race flight or not is around the corner at top speed with the drag race, it was getting this slight, I wouldn't say like dip, it was more like of a loss of power that it wouldn't, yeah. like you would try to turn 180 degrees and it just wouldn't give you that punch out of that corner at full throttle. I don't know if it was me. What, I, I kind of felt the same thing, but I thought at first it was an ESC dipping, uh -huh. uh, but now that I'm, I'm starting to think about it, it almost did feel like it just, it lost the angle. So I don't know mm -hmm. if it might have been you know, me expecting it to, to kind of handle the way I've expected other motors to handle. And mm -hmm. so I wasn't flying it the same. Exactly. Um, but it just, it, it did, it fell off a little bit to the right as we're making that left-handed turn. And and I just, I don't really know what to chalk that up as. Uh, that was only for the top speed run and the drag run. So when we did the testing on the other track, on the other, yeah. um, it, it really didn't have that problem. It had a couple issues with the VTX and picture but nothing so yeah just nothing besides that little dip these motors feel great i think the top speed is awesome and the just that little slight torque that it doesn't give you that full power right after a corner i think they slack a little bit and yeah. these are the 2800s maybe if you go down maybe like to the 25s or even 22s yeah. you might get uh more of a torque around the corner we don't know but we decided to go with the 2800s because we're going to be pushing these to the limits on 6s but that's on a separate video like i said before and we're doing the same testing with all the same props, the Gym Fan 5152s. Exactly, yes. We are using the 5152s because that's pretty much what I race with, and that's pretty much what our uh, previous tests have been with. And that's so the that's best why we could prop 5152. So uh, other people have said the, the new Emacs prop, but we haven't gotten to try yeah, we those yet. Any of them, um, so. And so, with, with these motors and this prop combo, you definitely feel the power. Um, the torque, we haven't. We haven't put it through its paces, I don't think. I don't think um, so. We've definitely seen initial views of how it kind of, where it lacks at and where it, it does good at. Mm -hmm. uh, but for overall, I think that this might be a motor that we definitely need to spend a little more time on uh, just to figure it out because it, it's something that not many of this size motor is out there yet. Exactly. And so no. we haven't. We haven't There's seen not. many of the, the quad test bench motor numbers, and so we don't really know what to compare it to. Um, and, and honestly, this is kind of a blind test for all of us. Really. Exactly. And honestly, I think this motor has more capability yeah. because one thing I've noticed with my 2408s, which are the F80s, when I tried those on 5-inch props, they didn't feel as powerful as they did as soon as I put them on a 6-inch prop. Yeah. So we may be underpropping these. So I'm going to be maybe possibly getting a set of these motors and putting them on a 6-inch build and then testing them out and seeing what, yeah. what comes out different. But yeah, it definitely felt like the F80s were low were pretty weak with a five inch prop. And then as soon as I put that six inch prop, it was just a different world. Okay, so now let's move on to the efficiency. So the efficiency test actually surprised me quite a bit for it being such a big motor and a high KV motor. This is a 2800 KV once again. So the batteries we used, of course, are the FPV Fly Club. So go, go grab you some. These batteries seem to hold up very well to our abuse. 
I'll link it down in the description below. So these motors were two and a half minutes, which was very surprising. And I would actually consider racing with these motors, maybe with a lower KV motor, like a tw the 2500 KV edition. But I think EFA did a great job with these motors. Oh, yeah. I was not expecting two and a half minutes. I was expecting something like the Emaxes where they average like two minutes to a hundred, uh, a minute and 45 seconds. And the overall feel around the track, they felt very nice. The only problem that I had was the torque. They didn't really have high end part of the throttle. They didn't have that torque that I wanted to, for them to have yeah. compared to other motors that I fly. But overall, I think, I think they the, felt that's great. That's the trade off we're seeing with, I think the motor, they kind of did design it more for the six inch prop. And so with these five inches, we're, we're losing out on probably that torque that, that we would have gotten yep. with the six inch. Um, but at the same time, you're making up with it because we got that two and a half minutes with the efficiency. Uh -huh. And so I think there's a bit of a trade-off. Yes, you're losing that torque, but what you lose there is you're gaining in efficiency. And so we, you can stay on the track. You can kill that two-minute time for our multi-GP family. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can get that lap time and get it consistently and not have to worry about your packs. Whereas exactly. with some of these other motors that have come out recently, the Emaxes, some of the new Hyperlite V4s, um, they're just they're really power hungry and they have not been able to figure out what it is that can make it a good power hungry system but at the same time be as efficient as what we've got what we've ran in the past with 2204s and 2205s exactly. um, and, and the high KV a lot of people just they immediately think oh more KV more speed and mm -hmm. and there's a but lot more about there's a lot more that goes into it and you've got to realize the, the prop, the length of your prop is going to change that, the, the size of the motor, the straighter, all that stuff is, is calculated into what you're going to get out of it. And so that being said, you've also got to think what, what are you losing when you're not getting that. And what we've lost, obviously, we've both seen it, it's the torque. Um, exactly, and yeah. if we had a six inch rig, hopefully we get a six inch 6s setup going yeah um and then that Definitely. would that would give us probably i think the full potential of what these motors were made for so for efficiency i give it a thumbs up these things surprised me and just pretty much great uh, so i'll give it a thumbs up Definitely. and uh now for we usually do durability but i mean since like i said before we haven't spent too much with this motor so we can't really tell you much about durability but i can tell you about the the uh quality control and it looks great like i already told you guys before whenever i was giving you specs of, over them that they look great. I think the QC did a very, very good job we have with the windings to, and everything. We have yet to get these motors hot. Yes, that's one thing. <laughs> we were testing for to see if they got hot. The speed runs, The nothing, speed runs, nothing, nothing got, got warm. not even warm. I yes. think the, I think the six warm. cell we did uh, when we didn't have the FPV set up a uh -huh. few days ago, that brought them down slightly warm. Slightly warm was though, but like that was very impressive. How, how impressive. I don't know if it's race flight, it may doing be. it or it may the be. motors or whatever but they were not even warm on our testing today but i think they oh, did a great and job granted when we did it with the 6s they came down warm that was a stock race flight that it was a stock everything this this has been tweaked a little bit not gonna say whose it is because i don't want to fanboy him right now <laughs> um but you did good you did good um, yeah so they run overall great. they run great they didn't run warm at all so that was pretty impressive too Okay, so now to conclude everything else, so the first test was the drag race, so overall speed and torque. For the top speed, I give it a big thumbs up, so maybe like yeah. a B plus for that. Uh, for the torque part, I really didn't like it, so I, I think maybe like a C plus, B, B minus. And then for the overall efficiency, I give that an A plus. These things surprise me for what KV they are. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. And with that, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and do not forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to also subscribe and turn on your notifications so you are notified whenever we upload a new video. And don't forget to comment down below on which motor you'd like to see go against this new EFAL FPV motor. So peace out and we catch you on the next one. There's